Which card game shares its name with a famous French manufacturer of fine crystal glassware? A. Baccarat. B. Canasta. C. PK. PK. Oh, I don't have to say it. I've you mucked can... that up, haven't I? That's that's all right, Pearl. You press away. You press away. You put him under the pressure. You put him under the pressure. That's all right. You don't don't worry about. It. Don't worry. I'll give you I'll give you a little tip, Pearl. Oh, he's looking at you. I'll give you a little tip. Keep it to yourself. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. Look out, folks. It's the chaser's version of the Loch Ness monster. It's the beast, Mark Levette. Good afternoon, Nick. Afternoon. Yes, I was going to say, Bradley, I went, once went swimming in Loch Ness. <laughs> People have been talking about it ever since. <laughs> I bet they have. In 2011, Happy Mondays lead singer Sean Ryder released his autobiography called Twisting My What? A, banana, B, melon, C, <laughs> 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 oh, oh, please let it be C. <laughs> it would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Oh, well, Helen, what did you put? You put... You twisted my melon. <laughs> All right, OK. Correct. Uh, why didn't you put... Because <laughs> it is melon. <laughs> oh, you know? <laughs> The correct answer is... <laughs> oh, goodness me. Oh, to go for a yeah, brilliant, well played, terrific. Well done, well done. Oh, goodness, that was a funny round, that. Well, well played, Helen. You, yeah. you basically outplayed me there, and it just goes to show that the quiz setters of the show are perfectly capable of twisting my plums when they want to. Because <laughs> <laughs> I had very little idea on many of those. <laughs> Very good player. Thanks, Brad. Congratulations. Cheers. Yeah, well done, Andrew. Brilliant, mate. Love it. Well done. Well done. I like chaps from the Antipodes. They're really sort of laid back and cool. I don't think I've met an Australian or a Kiwi who isn't a fierce competitor. It's sort of in the genes. Ah. <laughs> Got anything fierce in your genes? <laughs> <laughs> the Irish guards wear what colour plume in their bearskins? A, red. B, blue, C, purple. This is a guess from us. You've put blue. Yes. A bearskin. You don't know what bearskin is? No, I don't know what bearskin is. It's the tall hat on the guards. Oh, OK. Tall, that tall hat made yeah. of bearskin. Sometimes not yeah. made of bearskin. And the plume will be the feather in it here. Yeah. OK. Well, I didn't know what a plume was and I didn't know what a bearskin was. Um, so I just <laughs> I thought, why not? Correct answer is, please let it be blue. It is blue. <laughs> I should have gone for the. Step the close to the home. The... Chase has put, he'll go red. Oh! That's <laughs> it. Oh! You actually could have gone for the 30 grand. And then the one above that as well. 200. Yeah. 3 million. Yeah. <laughs> 3 million, yeah. You've got five chances of getting Look out. Look where I am, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Thoroughly deserve it. And if you was to win some money today, what would you do with it? I'd like to buy a new kitchen. OK, why not? <laughs> well, we had a leak uh, earlier on in the year, so... Did you not think of cooking it? <laughs> <laughs> Vegetable joke, that was. <laughs> I'm full of them, you know, Lynn. <laughs> I'm like a razor, mate. Sharp, sharp, you know. <laughs> if you want some money today, what would you do with it? Oh, gosh, a couple of things. I, I used to have a bike and it broke down and I've had to sell it, so I'd like to get a new bike. But a a... Bicycle or motorbike? Oh, no, motorbike. Motorbike. I'd like to get a Harley. Oh, right, OK. When you were in the police force, were you on a motorbike? No, I was uh, on an undercover squad. Yeah, right. quite a while. OK, fair enough. But not now, everyone knows me. No, exactly. <laughs> if you can't get a Harley, what else would you do? Uh, I've, I've uh, been interested in opera singing for a long time, really, and I had lessons a couple of years ago and I gave it up because it was expensive. So I'd like to give that a go again, to be honest. Give us a bit of opera. OK. Caro mio ben, credi mi almen. Nice. Get a bike. <laughs> <laughs> What classic novel gives its name to a UK number one hit of 1978? A, Treasure Island, 
the Vanity Fair see Wuthering Heights. You've put Wuthering Heights. Yeah, the Kate Bush song. I know, obviously, it was a book before. As a okay. DJ, you should get this. Correct answer is... Goes right, Wuthering Heights. Brilliant, well played. Chaser has put. Does he stick with us? And does... Wuthering, 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 he's clear. It's me, I'm Cathy. That's just the same. <laughs> I couldn't hit that higher note. I tried. You can't do Kate Bush. <laughs> you look more like Shepherd's Bush. <laughs> Never told you about singing on the show. No one likes it. You put them off. <laughs> there are people running into the kitchen screaming to their mums now, having seen watching their fish fingers, they're choking on them. <laughs> what have I told you about that? I know, I'm sorry. All right. No more? I don't know about that. <laughs> but I have to say, Penny, £7,000. And despite travelling all over the world, living in South Africa, your knowledge of young English footballers is exceptional. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I tell you why? My husband said, if there's a football question, answer Wayne Rooney. <laughs> so I did. <laughs> well, good for Philip. What are you going to do in other quizzes when he gets eaten by them gorillas? <laughs> <laughs> if, in what part of Wales is... <laughs> is Lanfair, Squigging, Quig, Gilly, Go, Go, Worry, Windrock, Brilliante, Silly, Go, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Go, 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 I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can... <laughs> Is it A, Pembrokeshire? Is it B, the Y Valley? Or is it C, Anglesey? OK, you've put... Pembrokeshire. Clam... Clam flair... I think sometimes the locals call it clam flair... Oh, love, clam flair PG, that's it. What, how do they say it? Clam flair PG, clam I Clam PG. Clam flair PG, that's what they call it. Why didn't you pipe up, Sarah, and say <laughs> before I tried to have the go It was quite fun it. watching. Well, thank you very much. We'd have been all day, love. <laughs> OK. In what sport does Fanny Schmeller compete for Germany? A, swimming, B, show jumping, or C, skiing? You've put... Show jumping. <laughs> yeah. Why'd you put show jumping? I don't think it's skiing. No, you would know, you would know that. <laughs> yeah, you'd think. Swimming, it doesn't really have a ring, ring for me, like Fanny Schmeller. So, um, I just thought it goes with show jumping. <laughs> We're gonna make a rule now, never to say a name again. <laughs> oh, that's right. I'd be straight down the court in the morning if that was my name. <laughs> I'd, have, I'd have that change straight away. Right. No point in me saying this, but you've put. <laughs> PK. If this is right, we're up and running, all right? The correct answer is. It's back right. All right, hopefully he doesn't know and he's taken your lead. <laughs> that would be great if he has. The chaser has put... Uh, that's great. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that's exactly what I did. I didn't have a clue. <laughs> Do I look like a person well, which I, would have so fine crystal glassware I, in my I house? I did have a clue, because before <laughs> the, the answers came up, yeah. PK was the, the one that was in my mind, which is why I went... I can't it. believe it. I've never had a contestant. <laughs> I've never, ever had a contestant sell a chaser a dummy. I've uh, never... I've been psyched up by an 82-year-old. Oh, goodness me. Right, here's your next question. You've got Goldmire. Correct answer is... 
Yeah, Golden Eyes right step closer to home, and you haven't seen your fibber. Chaser has put. Goes right with Golden Eye. You fibbed then, didn't you? No. Well, how did you work that out then? It just sounded like the most recent, and Goldfinger was Shirley Bassey. Hey, I see all your James Bond knowledge is coming out now. Well, that's the it? song, not the film. I haven't seen the film. Who sang The Man with the Golden Gun? I bet you do know. Um, Man with the Golden Gun! Bradley Walsh. No. No, Lulu. Lulu. Oh. Dump, floater, and wipe are terms used in which team sport? Is it A, badminton? Is it B, volleyball? Or is it C, water polo? You've put. <laughs> you put water polo. <laughs> okay, what makes you think it's water polo? <laughs> 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 Because it's the only sport I can think of where they have a floater. Why <laughs> 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 right, we put water polo? <laughs> the correct answer is to go through. Oh, it's oh. volleyball. I think the word <laughs> floater sort of. You know, pushed us towards water polo. All right, volleyball's the right answer. <laughs> oh, let's see what Happy Harry's put. The chaser has put. Oh, he gets it right with volleyball. I was the best dumper in town when I was to play volleyball. <laughs> uh, now, if you was to win some money today, what would you do with it? It depends how much I win, Bradley. If, if it's a small amount of money, I, I think I'll look at doing a holiday. Yes. If it's a large amount of money, I might clear my bar tab. <laughs> Brilliant. Good for you, mate. Which of these EastEnders characters shares her name with one of the moons of Uranus? A. Bianca. B. Tiffany. C. Sharon. You've put Sharon. Yeah, Sharon. Or Sharon. Sharon, yeah. yeah. I think it's a moon, but I'm not sure whether it's a moon of Uranus. Correct answer is. Bianca. <laughs> Bianca's the correct answer. We've got to stay where we are. The chaser has put. Goes right with Bianca. No, no, no. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Ooh. OK, we're two from home. We've got to get there. Right, and quickly. <laughs> the correct answer is... <laughs> oh, it's keep fancy not knowing that. <sighs> I should have should have known that. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, OK. We've got to stay where we are. The chaser has put... Come on, be wrong. Oh, you also put Joe Champion. I assumed it couldn't be skiing because uh, Bryn was taking some time to answer and I figured that uh, if it was actually skiing, he would know it. Yeah, absolutely. However... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm fine. <laughs> OK, let's move on. Come on. Forget Fanny, let's go. According to the saying, what must you not let under the tent? A, the camel's hump. B, the camel's nose. C, the camel's toe. <laughs> you've put, you've put. The camel's nose, thankfully. I'm not familiar with the expression, but it just seems to me the most logical. <laughs> the correct answer is... Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> now, if you want some money today, then what would you do with it? Well, I started off painting the kitchen and my husband's a builder, so he built a studio in the loft for me. 
but we sort of ran out of money before we put the stairs in. So I would like to win enough money to get the stairs to get up into the loft. Oh, I see. Oh, right, so you actually can't get to your studio, or do you use a ladder? Well, I can't. No, he's put up a temporary erection. You've ruined the show now, I'm Kay. You know, <laughs> You've lost the plot. Pussy and crack are varieties of what tree? A. Willow. The B. Cherry. C. Redwood. You've put willow. Yeah. I've never heard of crack, but um, there's. And I'm, I'm not very good on, on plants, but there's a Jake Thackeray song that you, sings about the pussy willow, so I think it's willow. You've put Willow. The correct answer is... Willow's absolutely the right answer. We're one from home with eight grand. Chaser has put... Well, goes with Willow also for those of you who are regular viewers of The Chase. Well held, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what to say about that. You'd have had three goes at three grand. You get that right because you played well. You'd have had two goes at the 30k. Don't understand that. Nothing I can do about no. that if you're going to be a complete wuss and take the low offer <laughs> and then get everything right. Well, I was just nervous. But, yeah, to be honest, very nervous. Up against a titan. <laughs> Didn't think I could win. Yeah. Are you a titan? Absolutely. I'm certainly bigger than anything he's ever pulled. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Now, have you always lived in Thornton, Cleveland, that way? Uh, no, my dad was a Methodist minister, so we used to move every four or five years. So I've lived quite a few places in the north. Yeah, OK, oh. funny enough, my dad was a Methodist oh, as right. well. Yeah, my mum was a spiritualist, <laughs> so I'm a methylated spirit. <laughs> so... <That's> brilliant. <laughs> I'm wasted here. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Hello, Mark. Good afternoon, Anne. We're both cricketers. Yeah. You wouldn't want to face my bouncers, I can assure you. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> um, yeah, that was unlucky. Was Sharon spelled with a C? Is one of the uh, moons of the now demoted planet Pluto. Mm. Oh. Tiffany was an American singer who had a UK number one with I think we're alone now. <laughs> and the moons of Uranus were named after Shakespearean characters and characters from The Rape of the Lock by Alexander Pope. That's wonderful. Thank you. Just got to compose myself for a second. You went, you, <laughs> what? You said... What did I say? I'm not sure if it's a moon of Uranus. Oh, <laughs> I see. Oh, grow up, Bradley. <laughs> I can't grow up. I can't grow up. I love it. It's just... I was hanging on for dear life there. Right, pull yourself together, Bradley. Right, here we go. What is Victoria's secret? A, fashion brand. B, bakery. C, her name is really <laughs> Derek. <laughs> Yeah, you've put fashion brand. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm fairly confident. I never want to be 100%, but... All right, correct answer is... Fashion brand is right. Step close to home. Chase has put... Goes right with fashion brand. You know, you said you was a journalist, Keith? Yes. And you have to do lots of writing and obviously mm -hmm. read material and books yeah. and stuff like that. Do you ever bother doing any of that stuff? <laughs> No, no, well, I'm part-time. Yeah, <laughs> on the Isle of Wight? Oh, yes. Front page. It's on the Isle of Wight proud, haven't I? Cat stuck up tree. Yes, indeed. <laughs> right, Shell this is, found this... on beach. You what? Shell found on beach. That was a headline I wrote once. <laughs> <laughs> there was this unexploded bomb they found. It's true, it's true. It's an unexploded bomb. And I wrote a headline, Shell found on beach. <laughs> <laughs> I remember seeing that headline in Private Eye. There you go, you see? I'm famous for that. Well, it's true, it's true, it's true. <laughs> and all the printers said you'd be trying to say found sand down there next, so... Um... Fantastic. <laughs> Shell found a beach. Tremendous. One of my big passions is film and television. Couch potato? A little bit, yeah. You never see a couch potato in the osteopaths, mate. Don't know about that. Mm. Wise words, Sue. I remember that. All that running, love. <laughs> Sue used to be six foot four. <laughs> It is West Bromwich Albion. Step close to home. Chase has put. Yep, that's absolutely right. 
for your lad? Well, yeah, you do, because they play at the Hawthorns. Oh, cool. Yes. Well, thrushes spend most of their time in Hawthorn bushes and hedges. A 